What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can become a part of my YouTube family. I'm very excited for today's video as I have partnered up with Lululemon um, and I'm going to share with you my own honest opinions about their skincare line as well as some new pieces that I picked up to hold me over through the fall and the winter. Um, so their skincare line they came out with a couple of months ago, I'd say so if I had to guess. Um, and I haven't tried any of these products before, so I'm just going to tell you my first impressions, my thoughts on the product, if it's actually worth the money or not, and then I'll go ahead and try on all the clothes that I picked up as well. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to just leave a comment down below, and if you're looking for a link to shop these products, you can find them in the description box. So I am filming this after the fact, but in the next clip, you are going to see me fresh out of the shower, um, and I am going to give all of the products a go for the first time and let you know my thoughts. All right, ready? Fresh face in three, two, one. All right, ready? You will see a fresh face in three, two, one. One. What's up guys? I just got out of the shower. My skin feels so dry. I need some moisturizer on my body and my face ASAP. As you can tell, my face is a lot lighter than the rest of my body and that's just because I use self-tanner on my body and my face just never gets as dark. So I'm going to put, um, try out all of these products and just let you know my first impressions and what I think. After I'm done trying out the products, I'm going to go ahead and put on my makeup, um, really get ready for the day and then and we are going to do the try on haul after. The first product that I'm going to try it just comes in one size. All the rest of the products come in a full size and then it also comes in a travel size. Um, so first off, I'm going to try the lip blonde, the lip balm. This one retails for 16 Canadian dollars. So I'm really excited to see if I actually think it's worth it or not. If you see me looking over to the left side here, it's just because I have a mirror here. So the three main products in this basic balm is the um, shea butter, it has jojoba oil in it, and then it also has um, organic beeswax in it. So this is what it looks like. Is it going to focus? There we go. And it looks like it is almost like a clear consistency. Ooh, the feel of it, I definitely feel the shea butter in it. I thought that the beeswax might make it like a little bit more of like a waxy material, but I still feel like it's like very, very soft and buttery. So I'm just going to wear this for a little bit and see kind of how it starts to soak in. I really like a lip balm that actually stays on my lip, not one that I have to reapply every 10 minutes. So we'll see if this one does the trick. So next up, I'm going to try the face moisturizer. This one is, um, you can use it a few times a day. You can use it in the morning. You can use it in the evening. You can use it post-workout. Um, so I'm excited to see how it feels on my skin. And also, um, it's important to me to see how like my makeup sits on it. Because obviously, um, anytime I put face moisturizer on, oftentimes I'm throwing on makeup for the day. And it's important that like my makeup sits right on my moisturizer. So that's definitely something that I look for in a product. This full size retails for 52 Canadian dollars and the travel size retails for 32. The full size is 48 milliliters and the travel size is 28 milliliters. Now I just want to say I would be doing this in my bathroom and I started off filming this in my bathroom and I realized how horrible the lighting was in there. It's just so yellow. Um, so I decided to just head into my office and do this right in front of my mirror. Okay, I put two pumps. I don't know if that's way too much or not enough. The consistency looks like a little bit like transparent. So um, we'll give this a go and see what it feels like. Two pumps feels really good. 
I really like the feel of this moisturizer. It already feels like it's starting to sink in. One thing I don't like about, about moisturizers is when they feel like they're just sitting on your skin and they're not absorbing. So that's definitely something that I look for when I'm choosing a moisturizer that works well for me. This one is supposed to give a little bit of a tingling sensation and that's normal. I'm already starting to feel a little bit of that sensation right now. Okay, it's been about a minute since I applied it and it already feels like the moisturizer is like kind of like sinking into my skin. So I'm really, really happy with with the feeling of that so far. So the next product that I am going to try is the Speed Up Cool Down Body Lotion. Um, now again, this one comes in two separate sizes. So the large size is 192 milliliters and that one retails for 38 Canadian dollars and the smaller size is 60 milliliters and that one retails for 16 Canadian dollars. So this one says it is an instant cooling effect. It's breathable formula, hydrates post sweat and and it instantly absorbs for record drying time. So I'm going, oh, there is a seal on here. I'm gonna give this a try on my arms. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells really natural. This um, moisturizer definitely feels like it absorbs into your skin really, really quickly. So I like that I can throw on the lotion and I it will absorb right into my skin. I don't have to wait for it to dry. I also, again, same with my face. I don't like when my lotions feel really sticky on my skin. That just bothers me. Um, so I, yeah, this one feels really good and I only put it on like 30 seconds ago. Okay, the next products that I'm going to try are the anti stink deodorant. So these both look like aerosol cans um, and there's two different scents. One is black pepper and one is aloe. So I'm going to try one on each arm um, and I'll let you know my thoughts. There's two different sizes for these aerosols. So the large size is 126 milliliters. That's this size and this is the travel size. So the large size retails for 20 Canadian dollars and the um, travel size is 72 milliliters and this one retails for 16 Canadian dollars. I will also give you an update once I get ready and everything like once I put my makeup on um, I will give you an update before I do my try on haul to let you know how everything's feeling, how my skin's feeling, how my face, lips, um, deodorants working um, yeah so that you know kind of how things are setting in and you get the full feel of like what my first impression is. All right, says shake well, hold six to eight inches away from armpits and spray until area is covered. It does say that it's supposed to be an anti-stink technology. It's aluminum free, which is something that's really important to me and that I've been paying a lot more attention to with my deodorants. And it goes on clear and it feels dry. So I really appreciate a deodorant that goes on clear unless it gets all over my clothes. So, okay, first off, we are going to try the black pepper sandalwood. Ooh, this one smells really good. Oh, I feel like I'm inhaling it. Um, oh my God. It smells really good, but don't open your mouth when you're putting it on. Um, I really like the smell of that. I don't really know how much I'm supposed to put on. Obviously, it's my first time using it, but throughout like wearing it throughout the day, if I felt like I maybe needed like a little bit more, I could spray it for a little bit longer. So um, that was the black pepper sandalwood. I really, really like the smell of that one. Next up, I'm going to try the aloe lotus. So try this on the other side. Ooh, this one smells really, really fresh. I would say that the black uh, pepper sandalwood smells like a little bit more masculine, whereas this one definitely smells more feminine, but I actually really like the smell of um, more masculine deodorants though, but by no means like this is, I don't even think this is like labeled as like a men's deodorant. Um, I, you definitely can use it as a female. It's just whatever you prefer. So um, I really like the smell of both of these. If I had to choose, um, I think I'd go with the black pepper sandalwood. This one is sweet though and it's still really, really nice. So 
I really like both of these. I, I hope they actually do work. Um, I've never really found an aerosol can that I like. I still use just like regular um, like roll-on deodorant, not roll-on, just like a regular stick of deodorant just because I've never really found that like aerosol works as good. So yeah, I'm hoping that this one actually works. And usually if you're buying like an aluminum-free deodorant, it's going to cost you a bit more anyway. So I'm willing to definitely invest in it um, if it actually does work. So last product that I'm going to try is one I'm so, so excited about. Um, the products I was most excited to try was definitely the aerosol deodorant, the dry shampoo, and then also the lip balm. Um, honestly, I was excited for all the products, but those three were like definitely my favorites. I use so much lip balm because my lips are always dry. I've been looking for a really good deodorant that is aluminum free, and then I'm always looking for a really good dry shampoo. So um, I'm super, super excited for this. My hair is I think I'm on like day three right now and I don't have any dry shampoo in my hair I do have like a little bit of hairspray and stuff but I haven't used any dry shampoo the last couple days so my hair is kind of like fresh right now um so I'm gonna go quickly wash my hands and grab a brush and then I will give this one a go all right so I'll just give my hair a quick brush when I put in dry shampoo, I always like to brush through it just to make sure like no white shows up. So um, let's see how this goes. So first off, I'll show you the different sizes. So this is the large size. It is 246 milliliters. This one is 72 milliliters, so it's quite a bit smaller. The large shampoo retails for 38 Canadian dollars, and this one retails for 20 Canadian dollars. So um, I'm super, super excited to try this. It's supposed to be non-whitening and and, no, and aluminum free, which is really, really great. So um, let's give this a go. I'm assuming you're supposed to shake it up. So the smell of it is Argan Lotus and it's nice. It's not definitely, it's not my favorite scent, but I'm not too picky on the scents of like dry shampoo that I use. I just want something that actually works. Being brunette, it's really important to me that my um, hair isn't going white at the roots where I put in the dry shampoo. So as you can tell, it doesn't look like it's gone white at all. The first impression of this dry shampoo is I really like the feel of it. I can definitely feel that I put it on and that it absorbs like some of the oils in my hair my hair does like feel cleaner and I also like dry shampoo that gives my hair a little bit of volume and this definitely does so as you can tell it's definitely more on the pricey side but you're you're paying for quality products same goes for all of these things like it's a skincare line that is it's not like drugstore kind of prices but again you're paying for quality products that um, are made with really good ingredients so I am going to get ready I'm gonna put some makeup on and then then I'm going to show you all of the pieces that I got. Most of these pieces that I shopped this time are more so for like fall and winter to keep me warm. So I'm really, really excited to show you these pieces. I already tried them on a couple days ago and a lot of these pieces I'm very, very happy with. So I will see you in five minutes. Got my makeup on and we are back in action. Um, the first piece that I'm going to show you today is the one that I was just wearing when I was trying out the products and that is the Train to Be a Tank. So that is this cute tank here. The reason why I picked out this tank is because right now being 30 weeks pregnant, I am not fully comfortable wearing a sports bra and leggings to the gym. I really am enjoying putting on like clothes with a little bit more coverage. So this tank goes a little bit longer, but it's still really flattering. The cutoff is nice. It still shows off your shoulders. I decided to size up to a medium so that this will fit me throughout my entire pregnancy. You'll notice that with majority of these pieces, um, I got them so that they will fit me through through the winter months as my belly continues to grow, but I also want them to fit me after. So it's not, I didn't buy these just for maternity wear. I want them to fit me after too. And I know that like a small or a medium is usually good for me. So I decided to size up knowing that I want this to, um, I want to still be able to wear this after the baby is born. So it has some nice detailing in the front. On the sides, it has a little bit of a different texture. 
and then same as the back it's almost kind of like a jersey material um but yeah it's super lightweight i haven't worked out in it yet but i was just wearing it for the last little bit and i got makeup on it the next piece is one that you have seen before a few times on my YouTube channel. If you guys haven't checked out my last Lululemon haul, I will leave um, that video right here. You can go ahead and watch it. You guys know that I'm obsessed with the All Yours Boyfriend tee, so I got it in a size 6 in my last video and it didn't fit me. It was too big. I find that a 4 even is still baggy. Like obviously it's supposed to be like a boyfriend fit, so it's meant to be baggy, but I found that the 6 was almost too baggy. So I got a size 4 instead um, and the 4 fits me perfectly. I love this t-shirt. It's so soft and comfortable. Perfect for um, like an oversized tee. Um, the material is really soft. The t-shirts that I currently have are holding up really well. I've washed them multiple times. I've worn them lots and yeah, I just find that like the quality is definitely holding up. Um, when you're spending so much on a shirt, you want to make sure that it actually holds up in the wash. Um, but size 4 fits me great. I like that you can tie this top up or just wear it down and loose. Um, but it'll be great for me through my pregnancy and I will absolutely continue to wear it afterwards as well. The next t-shirt that I'm going to show you is the Love Crew. And this is, I believe it's in the color Fade, I think it's called. Here it is. So I'm typically a size 4 or a size 6 in Lululemon. It really just depends on the shirt and the fit that I'm looking for. I often do end up sizing up to a size 6 just so to make sure that it fits me. Um, so I decided to go for a size 6 in this one. The reason why I was intrigued by this shirt is because of the um, wash of the shirt. As you can tell, it kind of has like a little bit of a faded wash. And I think that that's so cute and so different versus it just being completely solid. It looks like it's washed and worn a little bit. I bought this one just because I want something that's going to give me the coverage that I'm looking for. And then I also just wanted some more like looser t-shirts that are super comfortable. And this one absolutely does the trick. The next piece that I'm going to show you is a pair of shorts that I have had my eye on for a really long time. I've bought quite a few pairs of shorts in the past from Lululemon, but they're usually like very short. Um, and I'm definitely appreciating longer shorts and also high rise shorts a lot more now. I don't find myself reaching for the low rise, like low cut shorts very often. Um, so I wanted something that was going to give me the coverage that I'm looking for. And I finally got my hands on these. I will say these ones are only available online. You can't get them in store um, because they are the high rise shorts, but they're also the longer length. So these are the hottie hot high rise. Um, so they're higher than the typical hottie hot short and they're also longer. So the inseam is four inches. I believe the inseam on the regular hottie hot short is 2.5 inches. Um, so I like that it definitely covers your booty these ones have the liner in the inside um so i'm not i don't know if i'm completely a fan of having a liner inside my shorts it may be something that i choose to cut out but i'm gonna wait until after my pregnancy is done to make my decision on that um i got a size six in shorts again i like to size up in pretty well all of my loose fitting shorts and I guess like my tight spandex too um just for a little bit more coverage a little bit more more just so it's a little bit more comfortable. And um, I do find that the six is even a little bit snug on me right now. If I was looking for a short that was gonna fit me right now, I probably would actually size up to a size eight. Um, but hopefully these will fit me after my pregnancy and after the baby is due. I mean, definitely not right away, but even like a few months down the, down the line, if they can fit me come the summertime, that will be perfect. So I can feel really good and comfortable in just a great pair of athletic shorts. The next piece I'm going to show you is one that I am not happy with. Um, and that is this bra that I've bought before, which is why I'm a little bit frustrated. So um, this bra here, let me see what the name is. I forget. 
It is called the Take Shape Bra. So I got this bra in a 34C. The last time I bought this bra, I bought it in the color black and I got it in a 34B. Um, and I thought sizing up would be a good idea because my boobs have grown and I don't know if they're gonna go back to size or what that's gonna look like moving forward. Um, so I decided to size up in the cup size, but around my chest, I find this bra to be extremely tight. I can't even do it up. It honestly feels like it's like a 32, not a 34. I am usually a 34 and I can do it up on like the, the most snug setting. And I got this bra on sale too and I was sure that I was gonna love it because I already have the exact same bra and I even went up a size and I don't know what I'm going to do now because you usually can't return things um, that are on sale from Lulu. So this is a piece that I'm definitely not happy with. Next piece that I'm going to show you is the Restless Half Zip. This one is in a size 6. I don't have any half zips right now that fit me. I used to have one that I really liked. It was a different brand and it was just way too small on me so I had to get rid of it. So I wanted to um, replace it with, with one. The reason why this one stood out to me specifically is the detailing on it. As you can see, the detailing is so pretty. I like that there's a little bit of pattern on it because sometimes black is just kind of plain and boring and as much as I love black it's nice to like kind of change it up a little bit so this one has that really pretty detailing on it as you can tell it has the zipper in the front that zips it down halfway um, and yeah it's perfect in length it's nice and long it'll probably cover my belly for a while and then it also has the little thumb hole in the sleeve which I appreciate as well but this is gonna be great for the winter months it's nice because I like to wear activewear all the time so I like wearing something that's comfortable and cozy and stretchy and um, yeah this this one is one that I'm really really happy with the next piece that I'm gonna show you is the perfectly oversized crew and that is what I'm wearing here I am wearing it in a size small and as you can tell the small is it's still actually quite baggy on me I thought about even sizing up to a medium because I wasn't sure how baggy this sweater was when I looked at the reviews a lot of people said they actually sized down so I decided to just stay true to size I really like the length of the sweater the fit of the sweater it almost looks like it's like your boyfriend's sweater like the boyfriend fit um, which I'm a huge fan of obviously I really like comfortable clothes I will say it's not like the softest material in the inside it's not itchy or anything it's just like not fleece but I love this sweater and I really love the color of it as well the last piece that I'm going to show you is the camo aligns I'm wearing them right now these are them. Um, the reason why I got these leggings is because um, Lululemon Aligns have been one of the most comfortable leggings for me to wear throughout my pregnancy, so I wanted to get my hands on one more pair in a bigger size. I found that sizing up to a size 6 has been a lot more comfortable around my waist as I've been growing throughout my pregnancy, so um, a size 4 still fits and I still am wearing them, but it j is just like a little bit snug. I'm wearing these leggings in a size 6. The color is the camo cool deep multi and these are the high rise aligns so these ones I believe you can only order online I don't think you can get them in the store they're a little bit higher than your traditional aligns and when you get the high rise ones they're also full in length so it's actually perfect for the winter months so that my ankles are covered I find that like being in the snow and stuff sometimes if my ankles are open my feet my ankles are literally just freezing so I do like that they these ones are high rise and they also go longer as well um, I will for sure be working out in these leggings I like that it gives me a little bit more coverage around my tummy I already have a long torso as it is so just any leggings that come up a little bit higher I definitely do appreciate um, and I have these in a few different colors so I know that I already love them the next piece that I want to show you is the glide along soft shell so I've been looking for a raincoat from Lululemon for probably the last three years I've been waiting for like the perfect coat to come out and I find that like sometimes they just aren't fitted right They don't have the the right structure that I'm looking for the arms are too short the Just something isn't right with the coat and finally I have found the perfect coat This coat is definitely an investment um, But I know in the past any Lululemon coats that I've purchased have lasted me years and years and years 
years so I'll definitely be able to get so much use out of this coat and I don't have a raincoat right now which is the reason why I got it in black of course I'm obsessed with black this is probably one of the pieces that I'm most excited about for sure so here is the coat it is very just sleek and simple in the front I really like the side detailing how it cuts up a little bit the sleeves fit me perfectly in length I like that there's a hood on this coat because when it's raining I hate when my hair gets wet because it goes super super frizzy so having something that protects my hair is definitely important to me the inside of the coat is like a really really soft material um, I don't know exactly what the material is but it's really really soft so even if you're wearing like a short sleeve or something underneath the coat it's for sure going to be comfortable um, the back of the coat I really appreciate because it cinches in and in the inside there is the little drawstring that you can change um, so that it fits you comfortably depending on how much you want it cinched I just think that that's so much more flattering than a coat that just is completely straight down it just gives you a little bit more to your curves um, and then the Lululemon sign is really nice and sleek and simple in the back there so this coat is perfect I've been waiting a long time for a coat like this um, I decided to size up to a size 6 in the coat just because I want to make sure that I can fit sweaters and stuff underneath and generally on top I usually am a 6 some things a 4 fits a little bit better but um, for something like a coat I definitely would rather it be a little big than too small for sure so um, those are all the items that I wanted to share with you um, as far as the skincare products I wanted to give you a quick update since I last put them on. First things first, the lip chap that I have on still feels incredible. I am so pleased with it. It's really hard to find like a lip chap that actually works and stays on and feels good. So I will 100% be buying this lip chap again. I was really happy putting on my makeup, how my makeup went on over top of the face moisturizer. I like how it dried on my skin. It felt really, really good. Um, moisturizer, the moisturizer is definitely one that I will repurchase again this is only my first impression so things could change um, and I can definitely give you guys an update if that's something you're interested in just let me know in the comments below um, the uh, lotion body lotion is really nice it's fully absorbed into my skin it's not sticky at all when it comes to body lotions I do find that there's a lot out there on the market so for me personally I don't know if I would invest in the body lotion myself personally just because I do ha I have found lots of drugs store um, body lotions that I really like as well um, but the deodorant is amazing it feels really good I haven't worked out in it but honestly I don't sweat too too much so um, we'll see how this one kind of holds up over time and even by the end of the night tonight um, as far as the smell I still really like the pepperwood smell um, but the aloe does still smell really really fresh so I kind of like both of them but I'm excited to see how they just hold up um, and kind of like how they work by the end of the day and lastly the dry shampoo I am really really happy with I would definitely repurchase it so um, I'm really excited about these Lululemon skincare products I was really hesitant about them just because they are more on the pricey side sometimes it's scary investing in skincare product not having any idea on how it's going to work so I hope that you guys have found this helpful I hope that you guys enjoyed the haul um, if you have any questions please don't hesitate to comment down below and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video please Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button I'm so grateful that for all of you that watch my youtube channel I really do appreciate you um, I hope you have an incredible rest of your day and I will see you all soon bye